Okay, students, let's talk about how to do your first recording with the Rodecaster Duo here. Okay, so uh, first, let's get a few things on your computer ready to go. Nothing is plugged in yet. Uh, first thing we want to do, if we sneak over here and we look behind there, you see that little orange button right there? You press that, and that will turn it on, and you will see it's now starting up. It's going to take a moment or two to start up. I've got GarageBand launched, and you see I've got an empty project here. I'm going to come down over here to choose... And then I'm going to say, yeah, I want a microphone. Sometimes it's over here, but there it is, the microphone one. And I'm going to hit create. Okay, so now that opens up. I'm going to ignore this little thing right here. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to turn off the count in timer and the metronome. Those are both turned off. And now by this time, the roadcaster is started up. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to take these uh, headphone things. If you see any light on there, you want to turn it down. So see there's a headphone for number one headphones and number two headphones. Number one, number two. I turn those down so I see no lights at all, okay? You always turn that down first before you uh, put headphones on so you make sure you don't hurt your ears. Okay, so we've got that done. All right, so... Next thing I want to do is I want to come over to this microphone. I want to check the switch on this side. I want to make sure that it is down, okay? And then I take the switch at the other side, and I want to make sure that it's up at 0 dB. So I make sure that's at 0 dB, which it is. I check the other microphone, and let me just make sure that that's turned up. That's good. And then this switch is turned down. Okay, so everything looks ready to go. i got to throw some headphones on, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I got headphones on, so I'm ready for the next step. Am I talking loud? Okay, <laughs> okay, here we go. So um, let's get this now connected to our MacBook up here. So, um, and the reason I want you to start GarageBand before you connect it is that it will auto detect it. So I'm now gonna plug it in the side here. Let me just push that in. Okay, so that's plugged in. And now it's realized, hey, something has plugged into here and it's auto detected it and now it should work out good. If this little orange one comes on, you go ahead and turn that off and now let's go ahead and double check to make sure our roadcaster, I'm just gonna go up here to GarageBand, settings, and then audio MIDI and it should say the roadcast duo chat. So we're good to go there. So now I know that I am connected to the roadcaster. GarageBand is connected to the roadcaster. Okay, a couple things here. You wanna make sure the ear is nice and bright. That means that you can hear it. So I'm gonna turn the ear. If, if you had two people, this is microphone one, this is microphone two. As you can see up here, one and two. Um, and then you, you wanna make sure the mute button is actually dim. So right now it's bright and it's dim. I mean, it's, it's muted. You wanna make sure that's dim. So the ear should be bright, the mute should be dim, okay? And I'm just gonna check one more little setting in. You press this button here and you wanna make sure this says condenser minus four dB, which it is. And then I'm gonna turn that off again, press this other one. And the other one is condenser minus four dB. That's great, so I can turn that off. So we're good to go. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is when you do your podcast, you want to be about one fist away from the microphone. You can't be back here talking on your podcast. You can't be doing like this. You've gotta get in here close and talk on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up to maximum. Okay, I can't hear anything in my headphones, so now I'm gonna go and adjust my headphones until I can, I can hear myself. Okay, that sounds about good to me right there. If you had a guest, they would do the same thing. You would turn up their microphone all the way to max, and then you'd have them adjust their own headphones. But that's looking really good to me. I could do my first little test recording here, so I'm just gonna go up here and press Record, uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is a check of the microphone. And I'm now I'm gonna do the tap test. And I can see the taps right there. So I know for sure that it's picking up this microphone and not like the microphone on the MacBook or something. Okay, so that to me looks like it has passed everything. I can go ahead and press stop and then press it again, which is the rewind to beginning. I'm gonna press play. And now I can hear it in my headphones. Everything is sounding good, so um, that's the way to do it. Now let's talk about what to do when you're done. Okay, so when you're done your podcast, let me just go ahead and stop this playing. You would uh, take and turn all the sliders or faders, depending on what you want to call these, but you take them and turn them all the way down. And then you could also, if you, it's a courtesy to the next person, you can turn the headphone all the way to off and then just reach your hand around and press that button again. And then you have to confirm that on the screen that you want to turn it off. You can turn it off. 
and then you can unplug it over here. It's gonna maybe panic over it. Nope, yep, it did. It says, hey, you've just unplugged it and it's not available anymore. You can say, yeah, I know that. Okay, and then you can go get to work on editing it and everything like that. So that is how to use the Roadcaster Duo. Have a good time. Can't wait to hear your podcast.